Hello Heritage Church, I just wanted to send out a little video this week, kind of give you an update on things and, and where we are, just a little word of uh, encouragement. Um, this last Sunday, uh, coming up and in the middle of the night, we had a huge thunderstorm. Allison woke up, began to pray and rebuke and uh, that and, and ask the Lord to remove it. It was supposed to stay in the area till after nine o'clock, but time we woke up in the morning, it was beautiful. We had a beautiful, wonderful outdoor service, but it really got us thinking, what's going to be our contingency plan? I'd mentioned bring your umbrellas for rain or shine. Um, but what we're going to do is uh, if we do have inclement weather for the eight o'clock outdoor service, um, then we'll simply, uh, we're going to be turning, going ahead and angling the stage and you can just come have a drive in service, stay in your cars, listen to the radio. Um, we'll come around, say hello to you and uh, also pray for anybody that has, has prayer needs as best we can. So, uh, so just come and we'll do, we'll do a big old drive in service if it is raining. And uh, we, we have this wonderful stage provided uh, uh, to us by Steve Weaver. It's covered and so we can uh, broadcast uh, from there and have the service from there. So please come on. If you're coming to 915 or to the 11 o'clock service, those services are indoor. We are providing um, children's ministry for uh, infants in pre-K. But if you're going to bring your children, it would help us tremendously in our children's ministry um, to know if you're coming. Um, just helps us give an idea of how many people to have, not to have too many people, not to have uh, too little. So if you could call uh, Madison, our children's minister at the church and let her know or Facebook message her, that would help us so much because we want to be prepared. We want to be ready for your return. And just want to say a word about our indoor services. Um, I just reread and we rewent over the governor's um, directives for indoor services for churches in phase one and in phase two. And um, he is directing us to continue to wear masks indoor. Um, the Bible says we're to be in submission to those over authority. He's not asking us to do something that's unbiblical. And so to protect the most vulnerable in our congregation, we'll continue, uh, as long as the governor says, um, to wear masks indoor at our indoor services. Out of love uh, for the most vulnerable, out of love for others, we're going to do that because we can come in here, and I, I tell you, each week it gets easier. We can worship with those masks on and, and serve the Lord. It's not a, a matter of, of faith. Um, it's a matter of, of obedience, and it's also a matter of seeking to, uh, to be wise um, in what the Lord wants us to do. Now, uh, I know some people are upset about that, and some people are leaving, uh, or saying that they're leaving Heritage over that. Here, here's, here's what I'm gonna say about that. Um, you know, I can live with people leaving because uh, we didn't open as early as some other churches did, because we stayed in, in, in submission to those over us, um, because we wore masks when others didn't think that we should. Um, but I can live with people leaving the church. What I can't live with is if we have even one person or 20 persons die uh, because we didn't take proper precautions, because we didn't um, follow uh, the directives of our um, civil authorities. And so um, we're going to continue to do that until they tell us it's okay um, not to. But God is, is moving this Sunday. I want to talk uh, a message that the Lord is putting on my heart and I'm hearing from uh, many different places. I just that the Lord is speaking. I want to talk about real hope. Real hope um, as the Lord speaks it through Jeremiah and just a, a part of that is these familiar words. Um, the Lord says, for surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for your welfare and not for your harm to give you a future with hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. And when you search for me, you'll find me if you seek me with all your heart. I will let you find me, says the Lord, and I will restore you. Um, this is real hope, real hope in Jesus, real hope in his covenant faithfulness to us. Even if it doesn't look like what we think it's going to look like, even if it means we've got to walk through some difficulties. The Lord is calling us to lay aside 
our trust in anything but Him and Him alone. Um, and He's going to sustain us um, with His mighty power and with real hope. I look forward to seeing you Sunday, whether it's here at Heritage or whether you're worshiping with us online. Again, if, if you are uh, in the high-risk category, please uh, continue to worship with us online, and I'll be popping in and checking in with you there as well as our three services here on campus. Know that I love you. Know that I'm encouraged at what the Lord is doing. I'm encouraged about the future and the hope that we have as God's people um, living in this river valley, advancing His kingdom. God bless you.